Hi, this is Meredith Eisenberg with the Global Social Media Managers Association and today I am going to show you how to install the new Facebook plugin for WordPress that allows you to integrate Facebook um, with your WordPress blog. So here we go. Um, the first thing you want to do is install the plugins. So you want to go to plugins and then add new. And then you want to type in Facebook and go ahead and search. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and click install now. And yes, you want to install this plugin. And then you want to go ahead and activate it. And then um, it'll show up down here, so go ahead and click it here and click on Facebook. And then go ahead and take this address here and copy it. I mean, you can click on it and go there, but I like to put it in a separate tab so I can go ahead and refer back if I want to to the instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the apps, and I'm going to create a new app. And I'm going to call it um, GSMMA. And then um, the app name space is also going to be a GSMMA. Now it has to be seven characters. So we will say global. It doesn't like that either. Global social media. Hmm. Okay, so the key here is I think it has to be lowercase and you can't have any spaces. So if you want a space between your words, go ahead and put um, a hyphen there and go ahead and click um, continue. And then type in the, the words. Okay, and go ahead and click submit. Okay, and then you set up your, your app just like you would um, anything else. Um, with, with this app domain, you don't want to put the HTTP in. So in this case, we're going gsmma.com. And we'll just say it's um, communications. And then we want to do website with Facebook login. And th on this one, you do want to put... Um, the whole thing and you want a backslash on the end of it and then you want to also choose mobile web same thing okay and then you go ahead and click save changes and everything is is good and then you want to keep you want to copy these IDs here so you want to copy your app ID and bring it back over to the setting over here and paste it in and then go back over here and get your app secret. Go ahead and copy it and paste it over here. And then the namespace is what you chose um, under here. In our case, it's global social. So we will type in global social. And then go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, so at this point, um, the app is basically installed. Um, you can go ahead and enable the social publisher, and this will allow you to um, publish your post on the author's Facebook timeline and fan page. And um, this is great for your own blog, but also if you have a multi-author blog, it's pretty exciting because then you can automatically, as these authors publish um, their posts, it can automatically publish on their timelines, giving you more exposure. So go ahead and click that. And you want to go ahead and go to your author's timeline. And then this will tell you how to do that. And then um, mentions are on the home page. And then you want them both places. And so then the thing you want to do is you want to go back to um, your app page. 
and go ahead and log in with Facebook and go ahead and click allow. And so then you um, are set up to do social publisher. And then you can say on the timeline and then on this fan page, I want it to go to um, Global Social Media Managers Association. I want the mentions on the home page. And you can choose whether you want it on the top or the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bottom. And then here you can go ahead and add a like button, and then um, add the send and show the faces. And I think that's, and then show it on the home page, and I want it on top. Um, you don't need to do like and send because it's the same thing. Um, also, the subscribe button, you can add that if you want people to subscribe to your public feed. Um, it gets a little crowded because it gets to be a lot of buttons up on the top. So I just am doing these ones so far. Um, I'm going to enable comments, and I'm going to um, enable the recommendations bar. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And then I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like on the site. See this um, like and send button are from, um, and I'm going to have to go ahead and, and change this, which is a different bar, but the like and send button come directly from Facebook. And then when I'm making a new post, When I'm making a new um, post, there are these new things that get added to the bottom of my post things where you can um, change your status on your timeline. And you can do it on your personal timeline. This is an article. Writing to test. And then you could also do a status on your um, Global Social Media Managers Association timeline. And that will appear on your Facebook timeline. So anyway, that is um, how you install the um, new Facebook, the WordPress plugin for Facebook.